We need a safe environment. We need healthy choices. And we need access to care. We, we are, are the citizens of the greater Kansas City area who want, desire, need healthy communities because healthy communities build healthy individuals. Many working families do not earn enough to cover their basic expenses. This increases the likelihood that they will be forced to live in harsh environments, deal with restricted transportation, and have limited access to health care, all aspects that affect their overall health. At 50, Marcia is a single mother. She is employed full-time but struggles to provide the support necessary for her daughters in high school and college. Her single parent income as a bus driver is too high for her daughters to qualify for state assistance with health coverage. Because she has been paying costly premiums to include her daughters on her employer's group plan, she does not have the funds to pay for gas and phone service. The state said that uh, my income was was too much, despite the fact I had no child support or no other assistance for my children. I'm carrying the weight. I'm doing this all by myself. Since I've been in the predicament I've been in, I've done the best I could do to keep my children healthy. And by doing so, I make sure that they eat healthy and make good choices when they do eat. Despite the fact the state says that my income is great, it's really not enough to cover the cost of, of the insurance. You know, just, just to help us some kind of way that it doesn't hurt us so bad and we'll still be able to live. You know, pay, make your mortgage payment, the kids will be able to eat. <laughs> I just keep the faith and I keep going. Marcia now finds herself struggling with the high cost of deductible and co-pays. She recently informed us that she is going to be forced to drop her employer-offered dental coverage on her daughters simply so she and her family can survive. Maintaining good health is related to the choices we make. Those choices are fundamentally based on the options available to us. A lot of this comes down to policy. Uh, we subsidize uh, certain products, uh, corn and other things in this country, but we don't subsidize fruits and vegetables uh, to any near the same extent. So we allow uh, people to uh, put in liquor stores in a lot of places uh, instead of looking at more zoning that would reduce the number of liquor stores and create financial incentives to have full service grocery stores in communities. Many of the communities that are hardest hit with uninsurance and various physical uh, challenges from a health standpoint are also in communities where they have more fast food, less healthy uh, options. To think that just by providing health care to the kids that you're going to be providing all you, all you need to the kids is kind of a mistake. If the parents aren't healthy, and if they're not setting a good example, if they're not going to preventive checks, they're not role modeling for the kids so that you're raising a whole generation that isn't gonna understand how and what they should do in regards to accessing the healthcare system when they become adults. Uh, less than half of our black males are graduating from high school. And what does that do to their health directly? What does that do to those neighborhoods? What does that do to uh, employers that need qualified people in the job market, um, unless we start addressing those issues more aggressively, we're not going to fix the other problems. We spend twice as much per person in this country than other industrialized countries do. We've been losing relative place in life expectancy to other industrialized countries for several decades. Uh, uh, about 30, 40 years ago, we were around 10th or so in regards to life expectancy. Uh, now, on almost every objective health measure, we've dropped down in the 30s to sometimes the high 40s. Can you imagine if we were 30th or 40th in the medal count in the Olympics, that there would be an outcry and a whole investment in that issue? As individuals, we have some control over our behavior. Um, when we want to make changes and the social structures around us are supportive of that, we're much more likely to be successful. We're not taking societal responsibility for promoting uh, wise choices with our kids. We're sending them the wrong signal. For families that depend on public transportation, staying healthy can only happen if services are locally available. Misty found herself in the unfortunate position of leaving everything behind to escape an abusive husband. 
As the sole provider for her children, she works hard to assure a safe and healthy life. I have no transportation because um, I was going to leave my husband and he didn't want me to, so he destroyed my car. But I loved him anyway. My mom came, got me, and took me to her shelter. So it was, you know, he tried to stop me, but it was a good. I, I, I already had my mindset that I was going to leave him. So that was a hard to leave with no car, with nothing, had nothing on my. I had to leave all my kids' clothes, leave all the toys, everything, and start over. My most struggle was um, getting to work, finding transportation. I have to walk. My kids have no one but me to take care of them. That's the only person that they have to take care of them. And if I can't, you know, do what I would, I mean, what's going to happen to them? My life, if no one helped me, <laughs> I probably would end up going back t to what I know. And, and he, he did take care of us. That's the only bad thing. I mean, you know, I probably would go back to that. And when I came out, came out, how nice the shelter was and how nice, like, this place, if they did, this place didn't exist, I, I don't know what I would have done. I wish there's more places, too, that would help out with education. As um, far as like make, making me, you know, maybe go back and get a nursing or something, help me get a better job. That's a good um, something that could, because I don't have any skills. Because I stayed home with my kids and I was never allowed to work. I never got the experience. Because at the same time, I wanted to stay home with them, but that, a lot of places don't want to hire me because I don't have that much experience. The Medicaid will only help out if you have. Um, it's only for the kids to have insurance. So yeah, I do struggle there because um, if I get sick, I, I I get sick. I mean, I can't go to a doctor, I can't pay for it. I have to keep healthy. Eat the right foods, drink, you know, do anything I can to keep healthy. I gotta do what I gotta do. My kids are the most important thing in my life. If I don't have them, I won't have anything. I think they're gonna grow up be loving, responsible people that they should be. Written into our bodies is a lifetime of experience. Experience which is shaped by the social conditions and policies of our communities with a direct impact on our health. How will you influence that experience?